Hello everyone, how is it going? So I'm working on uh, putting this massive hiss sinks on the back of a 3090. This is the RTX uh, 3090 uh, Strix, one of these, by Sixton. And uh, so there is really like no way to to put like a big hiss sink on the on the back, unless you want like a I don't know, do some some holes on the on the cargo, things like that. So I pretty much came up with this idea. I'm using this uh, metal uh, uh, ties. I just bend them just a bit in here, like that, very little, and then uh, uh, unscrew the, one of these bolts in here. Slide this under the back uh, back plate. There is like a little edge on the back plate as well. Put that like that. Same on the other side. I did that in here as well, and also in there. And now I'm just gonna be tighten this up. These are loose yet, so they're gonna be looking like this one. And uh, in between, you know, just a thermal thermal pad. I think it is a 2.5 millimeter that thermal pad. I also got. Uh, like a pretty huge one from Amazon. This is 0 0.5 millimeter. I kind of wanted to use this one though, but I had this uh, the 2.5 millimeter one from before, and plus this uh, the Strix it has these ridges like that on the back plate. So I wanted to use like a thicker uh, pad just to make sure it fills up all these uh, uh, ridges. So now I'm about to tie this one up now, the second one, and this should. Uh, should keep this in place uh, pretty pretty firm. It doesn't put a lot of pressure, but I think there is a more pressure than uh, if I were to use just uh, like this this uh, uh, thermal tape, uh, this sticky one. This one also like it's very bad. It has like 1.5 uh, uh, thermal uh, conductive, and uh, that's not very good. I'm not sure about uh, the conductivity on these uh, pads I'm using because they're, they're like some older ones that I had, I had but uh, it should be better than that. Plus again, if I use that uh, uh, the tape, it's very, uh, it's not going to fill up this, these ridges. I have to like double that in there, it takes a lot of time, so I just wanted to try this. For another MSI I have, I already put one, one hit sink. The other one in there, it stays, it is, it is with the thermal tape. Because that's a flat surface and uh, I just wanted to see how it goes. So yeah, this is a pretty labor intensive uh, this way. I don't want to do any marks on the cards, nothing. This is the, pretty much the only way that I found. Also need to be very, very careful so this uh, edge in here doesn't, uh, doesn't touch any, any, any components, any, nothing in there. And uh, at the same time you cannot use like plastic because they will probably like melt or something so I think I, I was thinking of this idea for like a while now but I just I didn't have time to try so we'll see how it goes I'm just gonna pause this a bit finish and then plug and see how the car goes okay so here it is the second one now for this one I just uh, open this this is like a plastic piece that holds on top of the back plate I took that up do the same thing with the edges in there on the of this uh, metal uh, uh, tie, and uh, okay. So yeah, this should be this should be better, much better than using that uh, um, thermal uh, the sticky tape. Now for this area and here, I'm gonna have to use uh, two of the older ones, smaller one, because uh, there's really no other way to put uh, like a cut a big one and try and put it in there, and so it's just too much work. So I'm just gonna put two of the smaller ones. Okay, so still working on this. Uh, so I'm putting these stripes in here on these ridges. See, you, this, there are some ridges on the on the back plate. I'm filling this up with uh, with uh, thermal tape the sticky ones and then I'm going to put one more layer on top so this way the surface is going to be more like contact surface
Okay, so this is how it looks. I'm ready to be glued now. The the uh, his things on top. These are pretty like solid now. They don't they move. They don't move. Nothing. They feel pretty pretty well kept in place. Uh, it's actually better than I expected. I don't think there's gonna be any issue of uh, uh, not make it mating uh, good with the back plate. Okay, so here it is one. I'll just put the second one. Okay. One more here. Now we'll see how things are. Usually the issue that I've seen with the Asus Trix so far, it's not necessarily the thermal pads quality, but the lack of pressure. Like uh, without the, uh, without doing nothing, just when I put pressure in here, uh, from like a over a hundred and I think it was like a hundred, one of one or six Celsius, the temperature dropped to like ninety six or ninety four. Just for to put pressure, so they don't they don't lack uh, good thermal pads I'll say at this point I don't know how long they last that's the second part if they won't last too long and they start leaking I'll, I'll check the older ones but uh, they, may, they may not be like awful quality they just don't have enough pressure uh, some they do some they don't it depends the way they build so yeah at this point I'm not looking especially if it's a new GPU I'm not looking to change the thermal pads or thermal paste uh, right away I'm just gonna leave it working for like a couple of months and then I'll do unle unle unless it is a gigabyte which uh, pretty much I think lacks uh, uh, thermal pads on the back plate and you have to do it like since new okay so that's pretty much it let's have this plug and see how it goes okay here it is working There are also two fans pointing on the back plate. Uh, the rest of them have one plan, a fan. I, I purchased like uh, another like seven fans. I want to put each to have like two fans. So by the way, if you look, if you wonder about a quick way, how do you want, how can you put a? I think someone asked on one comment. So here it is. See, they just like hanging in here, just like that. See the fan. And then you can move the, move the fan the way you want you can bring it like closer or, or part of the, the gpu so like a very easy way to to install a fan you don't need to install the fan on the back plate or on the gpu or something like that you just do something like this very easy very easy to do now these ones in here i just i just put them on the on the on the frame it doesn't need to doesn't need one of these but uh, okay so let's see the results okay. I think this was the last one from the list I need to give it some some time to warm up. Okay, so let's check the rest. Uh, the first on the MSI already at 92 Celsius. They usually like uh, stay in between. Uh, the maximum I think is 90, 92, 96. I'm not sure if it reaches 98 anymore. Uh, some of them, so 94. Uh, the other one 92, the other one 88, 86, 90, 
and 84 so so far so far this one has the lower memory junction temperature 84 celsius 86 now it should uh, well, it, it should go probably like over 90 for sure it just takes longer to heat uh, to heat up the, to warm up the, the heat sink but I wouldn't be surprised that this one is gonna be the better than the even the one that I changed the thermal pads the MSI card so this card uh, let's see I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes uh, my phone battery is dying I have like 10% left so this this can stop any moment